there were these four great yogis. Four yogis who were brothers and it is said that they were born directly from Brahma. The Purana says from Brahma the all creation has happened. So this three-headed God which is depicted, you know, pictorially. So Brahma created these four brothers and they were born enlightened and they were great yogis. By birth, you know, like you are born a diamond, you are born a rose. So they were born enlightened. And they always remained in one age and that is eight years of age. They never grew to be nine. And they were renunciates. They never went into, see, why they say they remain eight? Because it is only when the adolescent comes, then the hormones come and then this, you know. So by saying they were just eight, it means that their mind always remained like a child. So no sexual attractions and no, 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 not, no foolishness, you know, pertaining to this. But they say even physically, they, they always remain eight. The great yogis. One day, the four always remain together. So they were all sitting one day and meditating and deep in meditation. And Shiva and Parvati, they were crossing the skies. See, if today you have your helicopters and planes, they had something. You know, now, now they are soon coming up with those um, flying taxis, right? They'll pick you up and they'll, they will not, not move on the roads. You are not surprised. You see, this is technology. Say, if I say Shiva and Parvati were in the sky, you say, how come? Why not? If you don't understand their technology, doesn't mean it didn't exist it. So Shiva and Parvati were in the skies and Shiva says, Oh Parvati, look, the four great yogis are sitting and meditating. Let's go and meet them. So Mahadev and Parvati come down to earth and they are, the yogis are just enjoying their inner bliss. They are absolutely not aware that Shiva himself has come. And they don't even care actually. One who has found the eternal bliss, they don't even care for Mahadev also. What would they get? What would they seek from them? Nothing. So Mahadev is admiring the beauty and the, the sanctity and the peace of these yogis. But Parvati got angry. She said, how come? They, they are not getting up. They are not greeting us. They are not... Prostrating, they are not saluting, they are not praising, they are not offering us anything. They are sitting like animals. But before Mahadev could stop, she cursed them. You should be an animal. And they all converted into camels. And Shivji was stunned. What did you do, Devi? She said they deserved it. Now after the time, they regain their body consciousness and what they find? Their body is no more human, their body is animal. And they also understood the story that Devi Parvati has cursed them. Now were they unhappy? No. Were they sad? No. Did they fight with Shivji? No. What did they say? They said, Devi Parvati, we are so thankful to you now. Devi said, what for? She is still angry. So she says, what for? The Sanatan named the yogi, he said, Devi, when we had a human body, 
we had to go some place to drink water to get some food or take a bath and we had all those rules applied on us you know being human the ethics come now the body is animal we don't have to go anywhere so you know sometimes deep in meditation and because they had some water and you have to pee so you have to go to bathroom now we are animals we can just pee here and if we are hungry we have a tall neck we'll raise our head up and we have these trees and leaves we'll just eat so you have saved us from that nonsense take a bath clean your clothes get food and if you have to you know answer the nature's call then go for that too now we can just be in meditation and we don't have to do anything at all so devi you are great devi said what to do with these people eh i can't even make them upset i am cursing them and they are thanking me and then mahadev says said to devi he said devi this is the eloquent status of a yogi and nothing can disturb or perturb them and nothing can make them unhappy anyone necessarily was angry that they are disrespecting me but the truth is this when a yogi when an aspirant is in deep samadhi this is the biggest worship of me if somebody is in samadhi and when somebody is in samadhi see devi we came to have darshan of these yogis i am happy and i would worship that yogi who is in the samadhi so it was a useless thing on your part to feel offended from them can you see the greatness parvati said oh yes now i can see that so she took the curse back may you be the humans again and voila their body changed into humans now with the human form four of them folded their hands and said thank you devi for giving this human form again now at least we can fold our hands being camels we couldn't do that <laughs> now we can fold our hands and sing glory of mahadev and sing glory of you and you are so great oh mothers we prostrate and we thank you and we salute you and then devi folded her hands and bowed to the yogis and she said i bow to you and i am humbled seeing your greatness and seeing the loftiness of your gyana 